Your brain is amazing. It will accomplish and create things in your world that you've never expected. This is not a talk that is about kind of taking things away and going, okay, I'm gonna read a little bit about that and do it later. It's about tonight. You are either shrinking your brain or growing. Shrinking is the default, growth is a choice. That's the biological reality of your brain. If you don't do something about it, and you can't. I just think it's the coolest thing in the whole world, is to understand your biology and how it will help you perform. If you have any jewelry on your hands, including a watch or a ring, switch it over to the other side. For those of you who don't have one, you don't have anything, no, just take your underwear and something like that, I don't. Change, the brain hates. The paradox is that change is how the brain grows. It actually activates a factor in the brain called brain-derived neurotropic factor that creates neural connections. It causes growth, neurogenesis in the brain when you just change, when you just do something you've never done before. So you might resist it, but when you do it, you grow. Life and business actually improves when we do some things that are very, very antithetical and very different than what we do right now. Turn off everything electronic in your life for 10 minutes twice a day. 10 minutes twice a day. And just sit there and go, huh. <laughs> and just watch how nervous you get just sitting there with yourself. When you take down the electricity in your brain, you're not battering your brain with cortisol, the stressor hormone that actually leads to the degradement of your brain. So we want you twice a day, at least twice a day. Look out a window, go for a walk. Go without electronics. Stop this. Right? I see people going down the hallway, and I'm like, hello, safety, safety. The laughter sets up a whole string of neurochemistry that allows you to actually start laying memory trails. So getting people to laugh about this stuff, so when they hear we're going to talk about the brain, they don't want to go, oh my gosh, that's kind of scary. So if you start to feel a little kind of thing, this is what you do. Um, turn around, look at the person next to you. Right, so you're gonna learn, look at a person next to you and as you're looking at them, when you're really tired, all you gotta do is look at them and then lick their face. <laughs> oh wow, a couple of you actually did. He's hugging him now, stop that. that that's enough of that, yeah, down boy. Scott was incredibly engaging. I didn't even blink for a second. Great storytelling, fantastic. It connects with the audience, I loved it. He was so engaging that I instantly woke up. He is absolutely fantastic. He was very emotional. I laughed, I cried. He was extremely human. Small things make a big difference with the brain. You don't have to go out and do huge wholesale change. You just alter a few things and you begin to get big different results. We beat it up every single day because we don't pay attention to it, we don't understand how it operates, and we treat it as if it's always going to be available when indeed it is not. You are under huge pressure here, and that is a gift. The brain likes pressure, but it needs rest along the way. It needs interaction, it needs play. If you begin to do those, it creates a discipline in you that's not only awesome for your brain, but it's amazing for your career and your life. You start paying attention to life in a very, very different way because your brain demands it.